Despite all the Tory drama in Parliament today with Rishi Sunak's Brexit deal and Boris Johnson's Privileges Committee and all that nonsense, things aren't going too well for the Labour Party either. Now, it's only been a couple of recent opinion polls. We've got two or three in a row that's showing a bit of a trend of uh, Keir Starmer losing his popularity and the so-called approval rating. So, obviously, we have to always uh, take uh, the opinion polls with a pinch of salt. Uh, what matters about the opinion polls is the long-term trend of the outcomes of these surveys, not necessarily the one-off results. But it's still important to talk about what's going on right now and why Keir Starmer is not doing as well as he should personally as a leader. So, the first one that we have, uh, we've got uh, Redfield and Wilson strategies that um, did the survey and showed that uh, Rishi Sunak is uh, now at 37% and Keir Starmer has gone down by 7 points. He's now at 35%. This is among the Red Wall uh, voters uh, and it's not really just the you know so-called um suburban liberal conservatives kind of swing votes or islington types this is the red wall british voters when you look at their the trend and um, obviously you can see that what well, the red one is the keir starmer the the blue line is uh, rishi sunak over the last um few months over the last year or so basically at this point you can see um the approval rating of keir starmer obviously went up it had its peak especially in the summer of 2022 and that was when uh, chaos happened with the conservative party's uh, leadership election and boris johnson's resignation and then liz truss happened then when liz truss resigned and rishi became pm he went up a little bit rishi sunak as you can see no around november 2022 but now is completely reversing there's no guarantee it's going to continue obviously because especially with today's chaos in parliament with the tory party tearing itself apart but rishi sunak is um, it's not i don't think it's about giving credit to rishi sunak it's mostly criticizing keir starmer for losing track uh, when it comes to the focus and the so-called charisma of the labor party but that's not the only one we've got another one we've got a um, delta poll uh, showing that the conservatives uh, are have gone up by eight points to 35 percent and labor party have gone down at uh, five points to 45 percent of course the labor party uh, continues to lead by 10 points uh, but that's not really the issue the issue is about again with the opinion polls especially everything depends on how they conduct the questions and the surveys and the samples but it and it's not really about the actual outcome of one specific poll it's about the trend it's about the long-term trend and um, that gets the mood of the country generally speaking uh, correctly um, so when you look at the opinion polls that we've had in the past especially just before election times when it came to like donald trump or those sort of things it usually gets it wrong because it's based on a one-off in the moment how people feel but if you look at the trend of uh, over the like over the next few months how the public are thinking about any topic really it's not really just about leadership it's, you know, or political parties then you can get a sense of where the mood is going it's still not a guarantee that's the issue with the opinion polls in general but it, it's still not a good sign that considering everything is against the tories right now in, in the media in the country and everything else that there is absolutely no excuse for the labor party to lose support because by default a lot of people would just assume that um, a lot of people in the country are not political. They just assume, if not Tory, then Labour. That's also a big problem. But clearly, people are waking up. They might not want the Tories, but they're not really sure about the Labour Party either. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media. <laughs>